Good morning, and welcome to the UDL's Farming Dynasty. We as a group of friends decided that for some strange reason we wanted to buy a farm together and work the land and hopefully the general aim is to one day have a farming dynasty spread across the world. So there's four friends, we've managed to convince the bank somehow to, to loan us 500 grand. It took a little bit of persuasion, admittedly, but we managed to do it. We have managed to buy a piece of land which actually comes with some fields itself anyway. And I will just show you around what we've got. We're not expecting this journey to be easy. In fact, we're expecting it to be quite difficult. But we are going to endeavour to do our best. So the field straight ahead of us is one of the fields that comes with our land we bought. Obviously need some work. And then we also have a second field on our right hand side here. Another, they are very very big fields. So we're hoping we can get a decent amount of crops in them. We're starting off with very limited equipment. It's basically anything we can carry ourselves, which isn't very much. Uh, we also have a waste bit of land here which one day hopefully we can build things on. We have a workshop, which is already here, and another empty bit of land. And then we have a really, really big grass field. And as you can see, a home from home, which will be where we'll be living for the foreseeable. And then just along this narrow track here, we also have a little bit of dirt land that connects to our grass. Just here. Which has a makeshift silo pit, silage pit in it. It's better than nothing, I suppose. So as you can see, it's not the best looking start you can ever have. But we're hopefully going to make it work. So today is moving in day. And the lads should be on their way. Uh, let me just... We said we'd meet by uh, our new home. So let's just quickly get back there. Park up and uh, hopefully they'll be here any minute now. And here they come. So we have Nighthawk. He's been very quiet, unusually for him. We have Millie. Hello there. And then so we have... made it. That's quite a long journey. It was a very long journey. Um, and then we have Irish. Ale? So this is what we have. So we've all got our own car. I've got the van. We've got two trucks with trailers. And we have a, another type of truck. We have one tractor, a plough, a bucket and front loader, front attachment, a weight for the uh, tractor, always needed. We also, as a little bit of fun, designed our own lawnmowers. Just yep, for a bit, a bit of fun. Stacked up here. I think Just for a little bit overweight there. <laughs> yeah. So. Just a bit. Hopefully in the forthcoming episodes, we're not entirely sure how many episodes this will last for. We're trying to go as long as possible. Obviously, if we go bankrupt, there could be a bigger issue. So our 500 grand loan, 450 grand has already gone on the land itself. The That, that will leave us with 50 grand to play with until we make money. The loan repayments are £4,213 a day. So things are very tight, hence um, our housing. It's going to be a bit of a squeeze. So we have got some gravel on order to try and do something with some of the land. Just so we've got a dry area to park our vehicles. So that's one of the first jobs. We also need to unload all the tra trailers and tractors. And for myself... 
or you need to try and make money. So if I go and have a look at the contract, so there's a plowing contract for field one, which I'm pretty sure is right next to where we are. So if I just accept the contract, we've got a plow, we've got a tractor, we've got to wait. That will give us eight grand. That's two days worth of interest on the loan. So I think personally, that's a very good start. Just check where we're going. Field one, yeah, it's connected to where the silage pit is. So that's where we're going to head. Right, so yeah, we've accepted the contract and we're going to head to field one. So, Irish, if you could just... Oh, he's already done it. Miles ahead of me. We need to get the tractor off. Yep. That'll be the first thing. Start the engine. Okay, you just need to back up and then you'll be able to... to lift. Back it up. And then slowly, slowly unload this. That's it. There we go. And nearly run them over a million in the process. It's yeah. uh, <laughs> that's all right. The most basic tractor money could buy. We'll, we'll, we couldn't really do much else with the money we had. We were trying to be very limited. We didn't want to start off with the best, of the best, because obviously you couldn't. Okay, let's detach the front. We now need to go and pick the weight up, which is still on the back. Yep. And then we can go and make some money, hopefully. That's it. Straighten up, that's it. Just about. And it should be there. Hmm. Not connecting. Guys, why can't I connect the weight to the front of the tractor? Because there's no front point to <laughs> attach the weight to it. Ah. I think there's only a back attachment. That's yep. fine. So we're going to do the ploughing. Right. Although I'm about to uh, ruin my tractor. We're going to have to do the ploughing with no front weight. Don't break the trailer. Which, uh, we'll have to see how that goes, I think. Why don't you stick it in the bucket and have the bucket attached? Do you think we need the weight? As you can tell, yeah. we're all... Amateur farmers at this point. You can use a bucket as a weight. Do you think? Do I need the weight mm. though? I don't think you need the weight. No, I don't think you need that. You're not mm -hmm. going to find out until you go and just no. don't run me over. All right, we'll give it a go. So we're going to leave the guys to unpack. I'm um, right. hoping the gravel will turn up, and then we'll come back and see how they've gone, and go oh, from there. So here we are, heading to field number one for the contract. So we can actually shortcut to field number one through our little bit of silage land, I suppose you'd call it currently, which will be just here. And this, straight ahead of us, is field number one. Uh, and so this field is currently owned, and I say currently, one day maybe, is owned by Mason Newton. 5.7 hectares. So let's just unfold our plough. And get ready to uh, start work for the day. Like I say, this is an eight grand contract. So this will give us enough money to cover our interest payments for two days. Um, which is something we have to try and keep on top of. We've got to generally try and make four grand just over a day which with very little contracts are obviously going to be the big start for us um we had a look at the land before we bought it there is a big set a bit of grass behind where we we are currently staying i think in his silage since there's already a silage pit there and hopefully that will give us some money in the meantime obviously if we can get our fields planted make some money that way come the summer that would help us but it is going to be a long, arduous journey. Um, but we are hopefully going to be able to go visit other places in the UK. We're going to rent our services out, you could say. And hopefully uh, make some more money that way. But our first and foremost priority is our own farm. So this field's 
quite a big field, 5.8 hectares. So what I'll do is, while I'm playing this, we'll come back when I'm finally finished. See you in a minute. All right. And here we are. So we just finished off the contract now. It's taken us, we're now 20 to 3 in the afternoon. And we started at about 11 o'clock-ish. So it's about three and a half hours to plough this one field. Um, but we're getting about eight grand out of it, which will definitely help us. So every, every little helps at this point for us. So we're just coming to the end now. And there we go, job done. Okay, so let's just lift the plough. And fold it up, and we can get him to send the money across. So that's £8,036 £8, made. That's our first bit of money for our farm. That's an income. Even better. So let's head back and see how the guys have been getting on. Let's just cut back through our silage field. That's probably my nickname for it at this point. Nice thing about these little paths we have by the farm, it doesn't seem to be much traffic. So it's mainly just going to be us on them. And there seems to be everyone there. So let's have a look. Wow, look at that. Hey, up, soldier boy. Hello. Hello, back again. So I'm just finishing up here. I want to take that back. That does look good. Why are you here? I was all about trying to do the allotment here. I don't know whether you, what you find just to try and get some feed in for the chickens. I think we can do that. We can do a little allotment. Yeah, just more so it gives us a bit of a. We don't have to pay for food or nothing. And uh, Joshua was just phoning me up from the spinnery. Really. He's got some uh, crates he wants um, picking up and dropping off. Do you know if you're interested in a bit more money? Yeah, absolutely. We'd never say no to money. So we'll just quickly get this ploughed. I can see some movement in the chicken coop as well. Yeah, we um, sort of uh, named a few chickens while he was away. Well, actually, uh, Millipede named the chickens. <laughs> okay, interesting. I think we wanted them as pets. Wanted them as pets. Okay, well, let's just part this up and we'll quickly have a look. And we'll have a quick run through the finances of what we've managed to spend so far. Uh -huh. So that's that ploughed for whatever harebrained scheme you've got planned for it. Ah, nice, nice to sell vehicles already for us. Yeah. And we have our chickens. So come on then, what do we name them? Go on, Orish. You can do the honours. We named one Jamie, and the other one named uh, Paul. So we've got a rooster and a chicken. So we may get some eggs eventually out of them. Um, so just looking through the finances, Nighthawk spent £736 on the gravel. Personally think yeah, money well that. spent. It looks a lot better. <laughs> it's a nice dry area to store the vehicles. £20 on the chickens. Hopefully uh, we get a few eggs eventually. May take us a while. And chicken food is £480, which as if I do the right menu, will give us nearly filled their food up. So that's not too bad. Um, and Sean's yeah. attempting to load his vehicle on. Yeah, I'm getting it. So while Nighthawk is loading up his vehicles ready for the transport contract, we'll just have a look at the weather forecast for the coming days. We know roughly the big grass field we have, we can't do anything with it for four days. It will be four days before we can actually cut the grass, as long as the weather stays nice. Um, currently the weather is looking pretty good for the forecast, to be fair. We've got cloudy today. Uh, sunshine Tuesday, cloudy but sunshine Wednesday, but good temperatures. So our thinking 
is if we can get our fields ploughed, or at least one of them, in a few days' time, we should be actually be able to plant stuff. We haven't decided exactly what we're planting just yet, but we're into, we are in spring, so we're in the planting season. Temperature's not quite high enough for planting at the minute, but if we can get a harvest, if we can get ploughed at least. Um, we have had a little chat, and the only issue we have found is money is very tight, and we cannot afford fertiliser. The size of the fields, as you probably saw, were very, very big. We have a quick look on the map. Field 18 and 15. 15 is a smaller one, so that's probably the one we'll start ploughing first, I think. Do you guys agree? Yeah, yep. that sounds good. Yeah, it's a smaller one, good. so that's probably the cheapest one to get off the ground. So we no can get problem. that ploughed. If we can lease the cedar, buy the seed and get that seeded, at least that's a start and that's money come the summer. Um, and we would like to get 18 eventually ploughed. But again, fertiliser is a cost we at the minute just can't bear. So we're going to have to go a bit organic, I think, mm -hmm. currently. But yeah, that's kind of the plan, to be fair. So let's have a look at the contract. So we've got a spinnery. Wants us to transplant them. That's £958 we can make from that. That's more money. There is another ploughing contract, which hopefully we'll have a chance to do. But we want to at least do a transport before it gets too dark. So we'll take the contract and we'll just have a quick look on the map where we need to head to. So the spinnery is all the way over here. So we need to head back up to the shop, to the main road, and then come down to the spinnery. And then we're taking it to Marwell Manor. So we, we're actually going to get a little bit of a tour of where we've moved into by the looks of things. If we, yeah, we pick up from the spinnery, go along the main road, and Marwell Manor yeah, is wow. just over here. So yeah, we're going to get a little bit of a tour at least. So we can have a little bit of a look around. So Millie and Irish, we will see you later. All right. Yeah. So oh. boy, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off and plow the uh, field for Dean later. Right. So I'm driving Nighthawk's truck by the looks of things. Yep, you be gentle with her. It's got a couple of scratches, I don't want any dents. See you in a bit guys. Off goes Irish. I'll do a bit of general driving. So at the minute most of our money will be made doing other people's contracts. I think that's the easiest way to start with. Obviously, at some point in the future, maybe a while off, we would like to be self-sufficient. But I think that will take a little bit of time. But it depends. If we get a good summer harvesting our own fields plus contracts other people, we could be set. We just need a decent summer. But then, as many of you know who play, the game, who play this, Seasons can be a little bit unpredictable when it comes to summers. If we have a very wet summer, we will have some difficulties harvesting and contracts. So you could lose a massive amount of money just in the summer if you're not careful. But we're going to try and avoid that, hopefully. So just across the bridge. Take it a little bit easy, since it's not my car. There does seem to be quite a bit of work that can be done in a lot of the fields locally, so hopefully we can pick up those contracts and hopefully beat other people to it. So, so this is back to the shop where we buy new vehicles, which we haven't actually seen yet. And then we need to go to the main road, which is just down here. Tight going through... The gate, no scratches on the vehicle, I'm indicating left. Let the car go first. We can probably pull out in front of the other car. I think we'll make it. Yep. 
and there we go. So along the main road, so this is the main road that runs through Marwell. And is it the first entrance, Nighthawk, or second entrance? No, looking on the map, it's second entrance. Cool. Seems to be two entrances here. Obviously, we're still all learning the roads and where we're going for a lot of things. It looks a nice little town, though. Village, I suppose it is. So, it is a 40 Just limit, but cars don't seem to be going 40. So we'll just put the indicator on so the car behind us knows we're turning. And in we go. And now we just got to find what we're picking up. Bit of a steep slope, this. So the spinnery is... Where are we going, Nighthawk? On the left-hand side. That big building just there. Oh, OK. Let's see what they've got for us to transport. I'm assuming it's the pallet there is just round on our left hand side. Oh, just down there. Well spotted. Ah. So it's just a little one. No wonder it's not very much money. So we will unfasten the straps and unfold the car. And we might as well I thought I'd unfasten to be fair. I don't there you go. Well, well let Nighthawk in. load it up. This is where it could all go wrong badly. What are you saying about my driving? Well, I didn't want to say, admittedly. <laughs> so yeah, our plans going forward, we're going to f fulfil our time with contracts mainly at the start, try and do bits and pieces in our own fields and build ourselves up, and then the dynasty or dynasty will come in over time a long-term aim for this whole save is to eventually go to other places in the uk around the world and start farms but have a constant economy from our starter farm so if we want to go elsewhere we'll take money out of this farm account to go and start up elsewhere so it will be a little while before we can think that far ahead but that's our long-term plan. Either that, or we go bust. Hopefully Which not the latter. No. Hopefully we can avoid the latter. But we've got to be realistic. This is four guys taking a massive gamble. Um, not all the videos will have all four of us on. Um, we'll try and do catch-ups and things. But as we all work independently as well, there will be times we won't all be on together. But... We'll keep you up, up to date with our progress. And importantly, hopefully you enjoy what we have planned. So, here's all done. Let's just fasten it up. All strapped up. Perfect, we can fold it up. Fantastic. So, let's start. I didn't actually turn the car off. To be fair, it was a very quick pickup. We didn't really need to turn the car off, did we? Uh, we're just thinking of the economy here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. I should have. I should have turned the engine off. To be fair, but it's okay. So Everything this should be a nice. Diesel helps. This should be a nice, easy contract, though. To be fair, only one pallet. So back up the hill. It's quite a big hill. Uh, getting ready to indicate right. Looking left, looking right. Yep, we're good to go. So, we've just got to keep an eye out for the actual turning into Marwell Manor. Right, I've got the map here, so I'll let you know when we're coming close. Perfect, because as we say, we haven't really done much looking around. There's a nice looking house there. See a hot air balloon in the distance? Yeah, we're not completely au okay with uh, everything at the minute. 
But at least this this contract does give us give us a chance to actually have a good look round. There's some really big fields here. What field is that on the left? Field number five. Field number five. Yep. That looks a very big field. So in the summer, if it's a very good summer, if we can gain the contracts for a lot of these harvesting fields, we could make ourselves a decent amount of money. But like I say, in the seasons, anything can happen. If we get a lot of rain, we will be in a bit of trouble. To be fair, they look like they might need a contract coming up anyway. That looks like that needs a bit of a ploughing. So this, this, we can try and tap them up. This is the other nice thing about doing transport contracts. You can get, well, you can just drive around and kind of guesstimate what contracts are coming up, hopefully. Obviously, they do tend to do them themselves sometimes. But if we can gain that contract, that's more money coming our way. It will take time, but it's more money. And that's what we need at this point. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll make some flyers up. Drop them yeah. around. Yeah, advertise ourselves. See want, yeah, see if they want a handyman. Get some Event working. Yeah, eventually we would like to actually get some buildings on our own farm. It would be nice. Um, but that will take time. As right, Just coming up on the right-hand side now. So we need to turn right here. Bit of a late indicator on me. So this is Marwell Manor. This looks a very nice house. Right, let's say pull up round the back. So I don't know if you want to reverse in or go in front ways up to you. Alright, when you say the back. So just past this building, it's on the left hand side of this building. See where that little hedge stops? Oh yeah. Just here. Oh, it's around there, is it? Right, yeah. where's the best place to park up? I think probably in that little bit there, uh, just in front of you. So if you swing round to the into that parking bit there. Is that gonna give you That's enough it. to get out? Yeah, it should be right. Okay. Keep going forwards. Yeah? Yep. We're good. All right. I will stop the engine this time. Be a bit economical. Uh, I better actually unload the actual, unfold. Yeah, we'll all get attention built. Perfect. And we'll just take a quick walk while he's untensioning it to see where we're dropping off. Looks a very nice farm though, doesn't it? So, ah. So I think it's here. I wonder if they've got a plan to make something. Especially having a delivery from the spinnery, you would assume it's some sort of wool. Well, what'd you say? Is that just over here? Just over there, oh, yeah. straight ahead. I oh, think that's where they'd like it. There we go, and another satisfied customer. That's what we do like. So we will collect our £958. So we do have one contract that's been offered out at the minute, and there's another ploughing one for field three. Obviously, we're still we're ploughing our own field at the minute, um, and it is, time is getting on. Um, we'll have to go back to the farm, see how much ploughing has been done. We obviously need to make as much money per day as possible. We started the day with £50,000. We've obviously spent a little bit doing a little bit of renovation, the chickens, the chicken food. So we spent, what, just over £1,000? I think roughly that year. And then our uh, interest on our loan is £4,000. we are still, well, by the end of the day, we will still be in profit, which is every day we have to make a profit. Otherwise, we will start to struggle. Um... Once we can afford to pay some of the loan off, we will pay what we can to minimise the interest payments, is the plan. Right, so that's all on. We'll fold the car back on. Perfect. So we're going to get back to the farm. I want to take a different route back, Nighthawk. I think yep. you could direct us so we can just see a different yeah. side. Basically, if you want to um, go straight where you are, Neil. Make it around the hedge. Take a left, follow the buildings around. 
Oh, that's what I've got. As you get, as you get to the T-junction, take a right. Okay, so this is a different part we haven't actually seen yet. So will this bring us in by field one that we just ploughed? Yep. Uh, okay, and these are country tracks, so generally you don't see other cars here. No, Which... this is all sort of roughly, we deal, we'll deal with this one. What I'll do is I'll we'll cut the grass, keep it trimmed for them. Okay, so we'll head back and see where we are. There's a rundown land just there by the looks of things, so I don't know what that is. On the right, we could probably turn that into something. I have to have a look to see how much the land costs. That mm. might be a little way off to start with. <laughs> Maybe yeah. a little a little bit of yeah, game. Yeah. Every little penny helps. If we can get the land in, we can start getting some revenue. Maybe a campsite or something. Yeah. It's a bit run down at the moment, but we can probably sort it out. And here we, we are can. back again. Hopefully eventually we could do like a village farm, a uh, farm shop and calf. Well, yeah, and I've, make some money. we have talked previously about having animals, haven't we? Is one of our plans. Uh, obviously, we've got a couple of chickens, but, you know, long term, we are looking at other animals. Um, there's Millie's obviously relaxing when he should be working and earning some money. Um, I Is wonder if we... Even... Yeah. Oh, he's asleep it. in his cab again. Hang on. I'll wake him up. Um, really? Oh. No, no he's asleep. He's out. Yep. While we've still yeah. got the truck running, shall we go and have a quick look at Irish ploughing the field to see how he's getting on? Yeah, can do. I'll hop in. Okay. 25 past four in the afternoon. So we are... It's early spring, so we've got a few hours of daylight left. But we'll just head over to our field and see how he's getting on. Have a quick chat. Quite nice that the fields connect quite nicely together. Well, it looks like it started started well to be fair. It looks quite good. Um, he's sort of extended a bit there, isn't he? Does seem to be. We do have to tidy this field up a little bit. I think this this bit here needs tidying yeah. up. Um, but it is a very big field. Back to the... It's that big. I can't actually see our tractor. <laughs> well, I think Billy's just woke him back up again. I think we showing him in the cab. Woke him up. I did it. Okie yeah. dokie. Got to keep an eye on his people. Well, what we'll do is we'll, we'll leave it there for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed our intro. And hopefully we'll see you all again soon. Um, in the next video, we'll we'll let you know what we've managed to do, and uh, hopefully, we're still in the black and not in the red, and still making money. Thank you for watching. Bye -bye.